Many people believe that if we don't use chemical, if we don't use high technology in farming, we cannot feed the population in the world because the old way of farming did not produce enough food. So, to solve the problem of the hunger world, we need to use chemical. Many people believe like that because they think when they use chemical, use technology, one person can grow a lot. One person can grow many acres. Sometimes it can be 100 acres, 1,000 acres easily. One people can do it alone because they have big machine, they have technology, they can work it easily in that way because chemical and technology will help things very easy. And then they think they're so proud that they can produce a lot. One people can feed many hundred people. That is very different from the past. But actually, we did not think deeper enough because one person who can grow more than 500 acres, 1,000 acres, they use a lot of chemical. They use a lot of technology. Those technology cost so much money. Like one big tractor. For one farmer, even they work more than five years, they cannot make enough profit for the cost of the tractor. So, imagine one people who grow 500 acres, they use fossil fuel many, many liters per day. They use a lot. So when they produce a lot, but we did not think the real cost of the investment that they put in, in that thing. And then another cost that people ignore it is the cost of the nature. Because when we use chemical, use high technology, that means we destroy the natural system. The natural system is very incredible system that the nature create to make the world produce food for everything on this earth. In one small lump of soil contain many, many million bacteria, million organisms in a small area. And then in the soil, there are a lot of earthworm, a lot of crickets, a lot of bugs, a lot of animals. Everything works seriously together to till the soil, to make the soil loose, to decompose all the organic material into the food for the plants. So with this hard work of this life, it makes the soil fertile. Everything can grow well. Without human, they still grow very well. That's why the world used to full of food, full of everything in the past. But when we believe in technology alone, we don't care about the natural system. We believe in chemical. We believe in high technology. We destroy every life in the soil. These lives, they are real farmer on this earth. They work hard all the time. But we blind. We don't know. We don't care. So we just ruin their life with chemical, with the big machine. All of them disappear. And then we need to work harder. 
to develop the soil to make the soil be able to grow things so that costs a lot for human we need to use a lot of tractor to plow we need a lot of fuels of gas uh, fossil fuel to run the engine and in the same time we need a lot more chemical fertilizer to feed the plant that we grow in the past a lot of lives a lot of microorganisms a lot of earthworm everything help to produce food for our plants but when we get rid of them we don't want them we need to bring in a lot of fertilizer chemical fertilizer from somewhere else we don't know but it costs so much money and then in the same time we need to bring the water system to replace the natural water system that we used to have that costs a lot of money too. Only food and water cost so much money to make us able to, to help us able to grow food in the soil now. Because we make the soil completely dead. They die completely now. They become a dead soil. That's why we need to invest more, more, more. So every time when we do farming, we need to add more investment so this is the cost that we never think about it when we talk about high yield technique that we have now high technology good chemical that we use now we never think about the cost that we add more every year every year every year so this is a real thing that nobody want us to the, want us to think about it and then another cost that we did not think about is the health our health cost because when we work with chemicals so much we have more sickness from those chemicals we have to pay our own money to take care of ourselves we did not add this cost in the cost of our food now, how many people get sick from what we eat now? It's so much. Most of the sickness we have all over the world now is come from our food. Come from what we eat. So, the reality is high technology farming, chemical farming cannot survive by itself. We need to rely on subsidies from the government because the cost is so high. When you produce a lot, you can grow a lot. The price always going down. That's a very normal thing. And then the government need to use tax money from everybody to support, to subsidize farmer, to make them survive. Without subsidies, no farmer can survive in most of the country now we rely on subsidies on government even we got subsidized it's not easy to survive too that's why most of farmers still poor there's no way that you cannot be in debt this is the system that we have now so this system we try to close our eye we don't want to see the real thing. We don't want to see the real cost of the food that we have now. How long it will last if we keep working in this way? How long we can survive with this technique, with this system, with this system that we have now? It's very hard. We cannot live very really long. We develop our farming technique in this way. Not many years now, we ruin all the soil on the earth, on this planet. We make all the water in this planet contaminate with chemical. We make the many life that support our food system extinct. So now it's so hard to grow things. You need a lot of work, a lot of chemical a lot of water to 
grow thing. So it costs more and more and more and more. So when we say that if we don't use chemical, don't use technology, we cannot feed the population of the world. It's not true. Because of this technology, this chemical, make the food in the world shrink it. We have less and less food to eat, less variety of food to eat. And the food we eat now have less nutrition because we force them to grow so fast and high yield. They don't have enough time to collect, to accumulate nutrition from the soil. And in the same time, the soil have not enough nutrition for them to use too. So they just grow up with hormone, with chemical. That's why we have malnutrition all over the world. Even you have money. Many people have a lot of sickness because of malnutrition. So this is the cause of the food that we never think about it now. So this technique, new technology of farming, chemical farming, is not worth it to develop it more. Because look at most of farmers in the world now, how many people who are not in debt? How many people who survive from their real farming? It's impossible, most of them. But look at the natural farming. If we understand the system of the nature very well, we let the nature work. We will work less and less and less. We will bring back microorganisms, bring back earthworm, bring back cricket, bring back all the life that used to work for us in the natural system for a long, long time. And then when they work again, we don't need to work much. When we come back to the way of farming like this in a natural way, we cannot grow cash crop or monocrop anymore because that technique, you need chemical, you need technology. But if we do natural farming, the farming in natural way, we need to grow many varieties, many different kinds of plants. So they can rely on each other. They can produce different things. So it may be not fit with the marketing system that we have now, but it produces a lot. It produces a small amount of each thing, but they can produce many, many things in the small area. So if we calculate it, we can have more food than we need. And then if we grow like this, we need to create new market system. We cannot do monopolized marketing system that we have now. We need to grow many different things and we need to grow in the local area. So each area is good to grow in your area and feed people in that area. Don't ship it too far. If we do like this, we will have plenty of food everywhere because when we grow in the natural way, we have many things growing. Each thing, there's not a lot. So we cannot ship it very far away because it's not worth for the shipping cost. If we start the local market, local economies it will fit with the system perfectly and people will have better life we will have no gap in the economic system people will share more it's so hard to monopolize the food it's so hard to monopolize the market system if we start the natural way of farming like this and each area you will have your own food, your own culture. It will be unique. Everywhere will be more diversity of food, of life, of culture, of everything. It's hard to monopolize anything. That's why the system that we have now, they don't like it. They want to destroy this way of farming. 
so they can monopolize. They want everybody to eat potato. They want everybody to eat wheat. So they can sell only McDonald's and KFC all over. They don't want people to eat local vegetable because they cannot control it. So if we keep going in this way, in the natural way, we will have abandoned of food, of culture, of life, of loving, of happiness, all over everywhere. So I think it's worth it to come back and think about create our own food system. Come together, save your own seed, come back to the farm, grow in a natural way. Diversity is the security. Diversity is what we need. We don't want to eat only corn. We don't want to eat only wheat. We need more diversity of food, of plants in our land. And we need local market. Local market, local communities connect together. This is the way we can enjoy our life more. We maybe not become rich like the richest people in the world but we will have more than we need we have more joy more time even we live like this how many people can be rich how many people can reach like a bill gate or mark zuckerberg or something like that how many people can be like this most of people are still poor and will be more poor but if we turn to natural system rely on the nature more, rely on ourselves more. It's not about rich. It's not about being rich. It's about enjoying, about joy, about happiness, to have fun together, to have plenty of food to eat, to have time to take a rest, to have time to be together. I think we can do it. We can design our own life design our own communities, our own food system. We can do it.